and welcome to this video on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. In this video, you'll learn how to create, stop, and start a compute instance from the command line while verifying the statuses using a GUI. From the command line, I have already configured my terminal for the OCI tools. Please refer to the video, Configure the OCI CLI to learn how to configure a terminal for OCI. The Oracle Private Cloud Appliance offers the ability to launch virtual machine instances using its compute service. VM instances have metadata which include the public SSH keys that allow a user to SSH to an instance without a password. In addition, a user has the option of assigning a VM to a specific fault domain. Live migration is another feature for moving a running VM from one fault domain to another or placing it into maintenance mode. You can also create an image from an instance by stopping the instance, then copying the volume contents as an instance. Currently, Oracle Private Cloud Appliance does not yet support bare metal, only virtual machine instances. And finally, instance pools are available for launching several instances in a group. Let's start and create a new compute instance by running the command OCI compute instance launch dash dash availability dash domain, the name of the availability domain, dash dash compartment dash ID, the OCI ID of the compartment ID, dash dash display dash name compute dash zero one, dash dash shape, the shape type, dash dash subnet dash ID, the OCI ID of the subnet, dash dash source dash details, the boot volume size, the image ID, and the OCI ID of the image with the source type of image, dash dash assign dash public dash IP with true, dash dash SSH dash authorized dash keys dash file, and the path to your public key. After running the command, the new compute instance named compute-01 was created. Let's now use the GUI to verify that our compute instance was indeed created. First, sign in to our private cloud appliance, click on Compute View Instances to view the current listing of compute instances in our private cloud appliance. I'll click on Compute-01 to see the general information configuration such as shape and launch options. Under networking, we can view the primary VNIC and instance access for the networking compute instance. Let's now stop the running compute instance by returning to our command line and issuing the command OCI compute instance action dash dash instance dash ID and then the OCI ID of the instance followed by dash dash action stop. After executing, we can see in the GUI that the compute instance has stopped. Let's now start the compute instance by running the command OCI compute instance action dash dash instance dash ID, the OCI ID of the compute instance, followed by dash dash action start. Checking the GUI, we can see the instance has started. And finally, let's terminate the compute instance in the GUI by clicking on the Controls button, then selecting Terminate. Click the option Permanently Delete the Attached Block Volume and click Confirm. A final check in the GUI, and we see our compute instance was terminated. For more information, please check our additional information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance documentation or in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Learning Library. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching.